govern difficult. German philosopher Goethe could not have been more right if he were to be talking about our beloved Ghana. In Ghana these days, we have people in power unable to perform the most fundamentals of managing our society. They are ruling all right, but they're not governing. What is the difference? Are not all rulers governors? Are not all governors rulers? If there's one concept that everyone seems to cherish, it is governance. This concept has become very popular in every sphere of our political and economic life. Just a few days ago, a pressure group calling itself the Concerned Ghanaians for Responsible Governance carried out a demonstration which eventually presented a petition to the Ghanaian presidency. There are many other civil society groups who adopt governance as a raison d'etre for their existence. However, I'm not sure that all who use the concept mean the same thing or fully understand what it means. Indeed, I insist that we have no idea what it implies or what it calls for us all to do. To help me deliberate on what this concept means and what is required of us as citizens are, first, Mr. K.B. Asante, who is a senior statesman and a former diplomat well vexed in the governance and the affairs of this country, both post and pre-independence era. And David Agbe, the executive director of the Ghana Institute of Governance and Security. Gentlemen, you're welcome to Dr. Akwesiose's take. We will be back for the discussion. Welcome back to Dr. Akwesiose's take. Uh, the topic today is governance in Ghana. Why can't we get it right? Uh, and I have with me um, Mr. K.B. Asante and Dr. David Agbe. Gentlemen, what I would like to do is start off by giving a short definition of governance. And I would say that it is the people and the policies and the processes that provide the framework within which uh, we make decisions in any society. And the objective of those decisions are to optimize outcomes for the betterment of the population. Now, that's a simple definition I want to throw out, and I'd like to, us to begin the discussion on that. Mr. Asante. Yes, I think I will uh, go along with that uh, uh, concept or idea. Um, a govern, uh, governance uh, is the exercise of authority through established institutions and why is the authority exercise? It's exercise for the public good. It means the authority should clearly understand the, not only the public good but the national interest and it, it has in a way to rule now and again. Uh, but it should not rule from a position of arbitrariness. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a difficult uh, thing to It should rule with the consent of the people. It should exercise authority in the interest of the people. So that if the people foul the environment, okay. however uh, uh, educated or uneducated they are, mm -hmm. they take action mm -hmm. in accordance uh, with the rules. And, uh, and not in a, uh, because they want those people uh, to uh, sing their praises and to vote for them at the That's next right. election. So, so you're saying that governance is incomplete if people are not satisfied? It is not complete when people are not satisfied. And governance should realize that sometimes what action which is taken in the interest of the people mm -hmm. is not normally approved by the, in, at least initially approved yeah, by the people, they don't like it. Mm -hmm. But you should do that which is necessary. Mm -hmm. For example, if I leave a lot of water in my house and mosquitoes breed, they may bite me and I may get fever. Mm -hmm. So it is my interest for mm -hmm. the government to mm -hmm. say that if I leave water mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I in the mm -hmm. house, mm -hmm. uh, the sanitary inspectors mm -hmm. should take me to court, mm -hmm. as they used to do when I was a boy. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. that is in my interest, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. if uh, I understand it. Also. So that, okay. that is what should be done. David, you want to weigh in on this this definition that has uh, authority being exercised in the name of the people? 
Precisely so. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I think that uh, the definition is quite right in the sense that, you know, governance, when you take the, you know, concept of governance, I must say that it is complex like a human skeleton. Mm -hmm. And so every decision that you take, you need to carry the people along. The people need to have a sense of belongingness. And so what you need to do first is to exercise your authority, your political authority on behalf of the people by making sure that all the resources that is endowed with the country is used in a proper way such that everybody in that country will have a benefit of all those resources. So governance is a deep process that needs to be followed to make sure that everybody is involved, there is a proper engagement, there is understanding that this is the decision that we are taking on behalf of the people. And so when everybody comes on board, everybody appreciates what you are doing, and then they have a certain identity of your policies, then we can say that you are really practicing mm -hmm. governance, mm -hmm. and then also making sure that your governance processes and your level of thinking and your decisions are actually what is going to satisfy humanity. humanity. Now, p part of this uh, whole mix has to do with the institution of rules, procedures uh, uh, that affect what goes on in government. And without the rules and the procedures and people following them and the law, it will be very difficult to achieve what you two have put out. Mr. Mr. Yes, Sunday, yes what do you I, I couldn't agree uh, with you more. You should have institutions which facilitate mm -hmm. good governance. And uh, these institu institutions should be governed by rules, practices, and procedures, which go. should be followed. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you get into trouble. <laughs> now, <laughs> governance uh, uh, is an exercise when the authority itself follows the rules. If authority does not comply with the rules and the procedures of the, and uh, does not uh, listen to the institutions that, which ha have been established for the public good, then you get problems. We have many here. Mm -hmm. We build anywhere, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and then when the rains come, they take valuable uh, <laughs> uh, uh, lives away, and then we say, government come and help us. And we want to blame somebody. We just say leadership or something mm -hmm. very silly like that. Mm -hmm. We do not realize uh, uh, that we are partly responsible. Mm -hmm. Perhaps not us. Mm -hmm. But people have been paid to see to it that no buildings are put in this way because mm -hmm. it's a low ground when we're young. Odona, for mm -hmm. example, was building free. Mm -hmm. And I knew the reason. I will build mm -hmm. there. And then, during, and then the water doesn't flow properly. Mm -hmm. I, uh, when it rains, the whole place is flooded and That's so right. on. So, yes, authority or uh, uh, those in governance mm -hmm. should follow the rules, rules just like uh, any other people. Person. And they should show by example, mm -hmm. that they are there in the, uh, 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 for the public interest. Yeah. David, um, in terms of rules and regulations and the law, what role do you think Parliament plays in the exercise of governance in Ghana? Uh, Doc, I, I, I must say that uh, Dr. K.B. Asante has actually contributed to knowledge as far as mm -hmm. the topic is concerned mm -hmm. properly. Mm -hmm. And in a sense that when you looked at the whole concept of governance, and then you want to measure it. You measure governance when there is rules, regulations, and more to the point, law. Mm -hmm. Governance without appropriate laws is useless as any, you know, um, a society where there is no rules at all. Mm -hmm. Like and the law so, of the jungle. Precisely so. When God created, you know, the world, he gave us ten commandments, and he says that in the, in the Bible, they says that it, when you want to go to heaven, you don't just go by the cliche that, you know, it's, it's the, 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 by the grace of God. In the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. the Bible states, you know, clearly 
that here are the patients of the saints, mm -hmm. those who keep the commandment of God and have faith in Jesus Christ. That is how it is. So everything that you do on this earth, there is a law, there is ten commandments. When you come to governance, there is a law, and the law must be abided by the people. People need to follow the rules and then the regulations. And so we can say that, you know, law is one of the strong pillars when it comes to governance. Mm -hmm. And so parliamentarian, you know, when you looked at the architecture of our governance, you, you realize that right from the executive, you are coming to the legislature and then to the judiciary. So parliamentarians actually enact laws. You know, it's been proposed by the cabinet, then the parliamentarian will go through all the rudiment. And then when they fine tune it and make sure that this law is going to serve the society in a proper way, then they can also impose it onto us that yes, all the citizens of this country, you've elected us, you know, to go and enact a certain laws and a certain regulations, you know, for you. And so this is the law that we think that it will be able to serve the society interest. And so Parliament actually have a critical role to play as far as enactment of laws, you know, to govern a country is concerned. And so when we are seen or when parliamentarians actually do not pass appropriate laws mm -hmm. and then they sit on concern and we don't see the the agency we don't see them doing certain things which are quite practicable to actually benefit the society mm -hmm. then we could say that parliamentarians mm -hmm. are failing mm -hmm. us and they are also making sure that the society becomes ungovernable mm -hmm. and at that point what what do we do as a people how do we hold them accountable in terms of transparency, in terms of openness, what are some of the things you can suggest in terms of uh, the people letting their parliamentarians know that they're not doing their work? But once they are parliament, mm. we've made a mistake already. <laughs> we let them. Uh, so you see, that's why they, very often we try to run away from mm -hmm. our responsibility. Mm -hmm. We, the people, that's right. We try to run away. It is true we have a difficult situation, and that. Now let's be blunt. Some of us understand what is happening. We are educated. Some are not. Actually, what we try to practice, which we call democracy, mm -hmm. to me, has never been practiced in a completely free society. The Greeks who started it were not Democrats. The majority were, mm -hmm. uh, were slaves. Mm -hmm. And it was easy, therefore, mm -hmm. to practice this democracy. Mm -hmm. It's the same with us. We have a problem, and we should realize it. There are some people who do not understand why it is good to keep the environment clean, why it is good to do this and that with the law prescribes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. We have, however, the first step in democracy is to let elect your representatives, the parliamentarians, mm -hmm. who, by our constitution, uh, is the only body empowered to prescribe laws. Once they pass, they should pass good laws. Once mm -hmm. they pass it, mm -hmm. then we have the law enforcement agencies, mm -hmm. the police, mm -hmm. lawyers, and so on. And then eventually, the judiciary should say to it that these laws, mm -hmm. uh, those who do not enforce the laws, uh, 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 are visited with mm -hmm. the proper mm -hmm. sanctions. Right. So uh, parliament is a campaign. They, we have elected them. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if they are not doing well, we have not mm -hmm. done well in selecting them. Now the problem mm -hmm. is how do you don't how change do you do them mm -hmm. until the term of his office expires. And but we should make them realize, who, if they are not performing well, that we will change them. Yeah. You know, as I'm listening to you, Mr. Asante, I'm thinking we have parliamentarians who do not behave as if they are serving us. They behave as if they are the bosses. How, we, how can we, as people who put them in there, change the, the, the game so that we get them to believe that they are working for us and that we're not working for them. We, we should do that by the uh, civil institutions we have, institutions and so on, which we who are uh, educated, uh, perhaps we've had opportunity, maybe those who are not doing uh, as we would like them to do, mm -hmm. would have done better than us if they had the opportunity. That was what I was taught mm -hmm. in my school. Many uh, uh, say it was an elite school. Yes, mm -hmm. it was elite. <laughs> and we were made to believe that we're elite. But we should subjugate ourselves mm -hmm. that we might move. Yes, yeah, and yeah. we should realize that those outside 
might do better if yes, we were yes. uh, also attaching water. So that was that. You yeah. should, uh, uh, we should know that it is uh, by God's grace mm -hmm. that we are where we are, mm -hmm. and it's our duty mm -hmm. to help uh, to improve uh, uh, society. David, your organization, how can they get into a situation where, for instance, uh, as I was uh, trying to make the point, the the DCE who got angry and essentially because he wasn't happy with the response he was getting from his people decided that he was going to go he didn't even think he was their servant he had no business saying that I, how do we change the script i must say that with respect of the dc i mm -hmm. think that um what, what we would call it, uh, emotional intelligence mm -hmm. wasn't there mm -hmm. if he, he 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 was to have that emotional ability to control himself, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have landed himself into that circumstances. So that emotional intelligence wasn't there. But then I just want to add to what Dr. K. B. Asante said. You see, parliamentarian, in a proper level of democracy, where democracy, you know, is well practiced, just like you know, where 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 you've you know lectured in in many many years in the United States, you realize that. Politicians are actually afraid of, of the voters or yes, the citizens. Yes. They are afraid because we voted you to become a member of parliament. And so we can reject you at any point in time. But in our context here, it is no, 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 no. <laughs> they think that they have the privilege. Mm -hmm. And so whilst they are there, they need to impose, they need to just throw everything at us. And then when it comes to election time, they try to, you know, craft a certain message by tribal means, by making sure that they incite the society against one another to get a vote. Mm -hmm. And so our views are always not respected. And so they don't take us as we, as citizens or voters, okay. we put them there until they realize that we put them there and then they tend to respect us. That is where we could say that, yes, this is a governance process. Mm -hmm. But as it is now, you know, it's a just, it is even not a partial governance, but I could say that it is just a means of a learning process that we are just copying something, mm -hmm. you know, just by copying things. But when it comes to practical level of democracy, the citizens, mm -hmm. the voters, need to be well respected, well respected. And their views need to be taken seriously. But in our context, That's I must say that, that it is, is not, not there at all. Well, as you can say, we're, we're just getting started. And I could see say take. We'll be back in a few minutes. Welcome back to Dr. Akwesi Osai's take. Again, our topic today is governance in Ghana. Why can we get it right? David, why can we get it right? Th thank you once again. I, I think that uh, why we are not getting it right is, um, I must say that it is huge in a sense that um, governance is just like what I said, Ten Commandments. And so you need to follow those processes to make it quite you know, resilient for people to actually appreciate that, yes, you are practicing governance. And so governance starts with you know, the making sure that you have appropriate institutions. The institutions need to be run and actually need to be managed by qualified people. And so what you need to do is that you have a structure. The structure is all about, Dr. Akwesi was saying, it's mm -hmm. all about mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, Dr. K.B. Asante. So what is Dr. K.B. Asante bringing on board? Mm -hmm. And so when you are able to have a good structure, you have a system, you have a strategy, and then you are thinking of, I mean, those people who need to actually make sure that all the strategies 
actually worked, then you know that you are actually following governance processes and making sure that you involved all the stakeholders. You, you bring people on board, you engage them, mm -hmm. then you also make sure that whatever that you are doing, you are bringing transparency because you are involving them. You are letting them have you know, a take in whatever you are doing. And so when you go through all those rudiments, and then you can say that, yes, here we are, we have you know, elected somebody to you know, rule the country, and this is what he is bringing on board. We have, a, you know, we have also shared our views. Mm -hmm. And so we think that our views are going to be taken seriously to actually plan for the whole country. And so that is the way I see you know, governance. Mm -hmm. You know, aside the legislators, aside the you know judiciary and all those people, mm -hmm. you realize that you need to take their processes. Mm -hmm. Here we are in Ghana, the judiciary is not working. You know, when the judiciary is not working, you 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 feel it that the laws are not the laws are there, but it is not working. Mm -hmm. When laws are just you know enacted and it is not working, I mean. You, 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 you really say that it is better you don't even have those laws. Those laws. Because okay. the laws must be enforced. The laws must work. And in this country, we keep on talking about the attitude. Mm -hmm. For me, I don't see this governance process as the attitude of the people. Mm -hmm. When there are laws and the laws are working, mm -hmm. the systems are there, mm -hmm. the infrastructures are there, you are making sure that the style of, of the leaders mm -hmm. are also making sure that their style is such that everybody is having a feel of his leadership qualities and all that. Then you will say that, yes, the person is leading, he's protecting the country, mm -hmm. he's protecting <coughs> the resources that has been endowed with the country. And so you, you, you clearly feel that everybody is having that sense of belongingness to mm -hmm. that country. But in our case, you realize that we always go in for the wrong choice. The wrong choice. And we, we keep on copying. You know, this, we have this, what we call hybrid. Mm -hmm. Everything in Ghana here is hybrid. Our constitution is hybrid. Our laws are hybrid. Everything is <laughs> hybrid. hybrid. Our mineral resources, our oil and everything, mm -hmm. they are copying. Mm -hmm. Hybrid, hybrid, hybrid. And we are not getting any mm -hmm. benefit mm -hmm. because we are failing to learn. We are not ready to, to make sure that we are engage the appropriate people who have the knowledge to actually share on a specific area. And so our system, I, I'm sorry, it's, it's, it's like we keep on talking about mm -hmm. Ghana is a, a nice democratic mm -hmm. country. Mm -hmm. And I don't buy it don't buy because it. the laws in these countries are not working. And the laws are the mm -hmm. pillars of democracy. The laws are the pillars mm -hmm. that, and they are the mirror that everybody will be able to see it and reflect and see that, yes, here I am, if I should put a, a a, a, a dustbin here. Mm -hmm. I need to put all the refuse the in refuse it. The refuse in the dustbin. You David, know, when you are driving, you know that these are the, the, the driving mm -hmm. regulations, and, and therefore I need to follow it. But here we are. We are not seeing all mm -hmm. those things working. So what, what 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 do you say? What do you cherish about our governance? Yeah. There is nothing There's more to nothing be cherished to unless the laws of this country actually That's work. Fine. Then we can say that yes, we are practicing. You know, a clean democracy. Okay, but okay. as it is now, I must say that it's yeah. just a mere photocopy. D David, I think you've, you've painted a very pessimistic, albeit realistic, um, picture of where we are in terms of our governance. So I'm thinking, sitting here, as uh, Mr. Asante has had all these years to look at it. So, Mr. Asante, listening to David, is he correct? And if he's correct, with your experience, where do we go wrong? I think uh, from a certain perspective he may be correct, mm -hmm. but I don't think that that has been as a reality. Mm -hmm. At independence mm -hmm. from, if you go from Mensa and so on, yes, we mm -hmm. were all a yearning mm -hmm. uh, to, uh, uh, to be masters of our own destiny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then Dan Kwa came, he mm -hmm. even tried to show 
because of colonialism mm -hmm. and so on, mm -hmm. uh, that we need to revisit the past when we're mm -hmm. really dependent. So we adopted the name Ghana, ancient kingdom. It was Dangwa who first, if mm -hmm. to the best of my knowledge, who first right. mentioned it. That's right, that's correct. Kwame Nkrumah saw the relevance of it and he promoted it vigorously. And we became Ghana. The idea was to realize that we have not uh, uh, imbibed or adopted all these new methods of governance from our colonial masters. We had something. Mm -hmm. So that was the aim. And then we had Ghana. And naturally, for years, we have been following the uh, British practice and so on. So you couldn't suddenly mm -hmm. move from it. No, not only that, uh, uh, there's evolution. We have, we have learned. We've got used to it. So that which was not uh, correct, we jettisoned. That was not correct, we promoted and mm -hmm. so on. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. We had a parliament. We couldn't go to the uh, 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 public place and say who are in favor and so on. We mm -hmm. had a proper process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we let it those who would uh, uh, run affairs. The same with the president. But then people talk about leadership and things like that. And they, they run away from, uh, they put everything on leadership. Mm -hmm. But I think our leader did something good at the beginning. Mm -hmm. They gave us a purpose, mm -hmm. a vision. Mm -hmm. Krumah gave us a vision. Mm -hmm. Going to establish metropolises of learning, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in industry, mm -hmm. uh, 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 people who are hardworking and building their own future, self-reliance, the future depends upon ourselves, mm -hmm. not upon handouts from elsewhere. Mm -hmm. we, and that is what has changed. We build Job 600, we build Ringway Estate, uh, Laboni Estate, Laboni all estate, these places by Ghanaian workers, Ghanaian institutions. Now when we are uh, we we'll find we have a housing problem. <laughs> we try to go to Korea. We try to go to Morocco. It's nonsense. Uh, it, it, something has happened. Mm -hmm. So it is not a system. Somehow mm -hmm. we have lost our way. Mm -hmm. And we, the people, are part of the response. Uh, leaders also have a, 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 a thing to answer. Mm -hmm. But we should stop this nonsense. We are capable. Ghanaians are capable. We don't have to rely on European partnership or American media, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't even keep all the acronyms in my head. <laughs> MMDYSYZ. They don't develop a country. We, we do. We have to do it. And that's what you should realize. That's and our leaders, mm -hmm. and we ourselves should realize this. Mm -hmm. And when they are going to yeah. tell them. David, you want to jump no, in? I, I think that Dr. Kirby Asante has actually you know, said exactly what I was mm -hmm. talking about. Mm -hmm. I mean, in those days, why is it that every Ghanaian, when there is any crisis in this country, we talked about Kwame Nkrumah mm -hmm. and we talked about Rawlings, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because the systems, the structures were working, the laws were there. Kwame Nkrumah, in, in those days, around 19, you know, 48, mm -hmm. you know, 1950, there is about Kwame Nkrumah was trying to rewrite everything for, uh, you know, our own. That was why Kwame Nkrumah was coming out with this encyclopedia of mm -hmm. Africa and mm -hmm. all those mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Because he wanted to do certain things, you know, that we can say that this one, we own it. Mm -hmm. We are not just copying it. Mm -hmm. You know, that was why Kwame Nkrumah was doing all those things. Mm -hmm. In Nkrumah 1948, mm -hmm. Kwame Nkrumah was making... Kwame, it was true Kwame Nkrumah. That is why some of us, we can mm -hmm. exercise our franchise, mm -hmm. especially ladies. Mm -hmm. You know, Kwame Nkrumah said that they all need to be involved mm -hmm. into every decision. Those days, it is you, mm -hmm. you know, a doctor mm -hmm. from United mm -hmm. States, mm -hmm. it is you that you have your building, you have everything, mm -hmm. and then they could say that, yes, you can cast mm -hmm. your vote. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Myself, I wouldn't be able to cast mm -hmm. my vote because, I mean, here, yeah, um, what do I have? <laughs> but Kwame Nkrumah said that, no, all those people, we need to involve them. When we are able to involve them, then we are practicing democracy. Okay. And so uh, those are the things that we need to actually craft something that we could mm -hmm. own it. All over the world, that is how it has been done. I mean, knowledge is said that you, can, you have to share, and that is why in economics where mm -hmm. knowledge curve, mm -hmm. you have to keep on learning every single day until you get to mm -hmm. a certain level That's of right. uh, yes. yes you know yes. <laughs> so i hear you saying practice 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 until you become perfect yes as for the perfect you mm -hmm. can get close to it close to perfect but then you can never be perfect but like the more God. you practice you the become it becomes, yes you become knowledgeable as far You're as listening the to both of you there's there's no question that all, both of you are putting a premium on leadership you said it 
let's let's uh, take that a bit further. Are you saying then that one of the reasons we have not been able to uh, institutionalize good governance? Is because of a lack of leadership on our leaders? Precisely. Our leaders, I must say that our leaders, if every Ghanaian will be honest, our mm -hmm. leaders are weak. Mm -hmm. we, we always vote for, you know, very weak people because mm -hmm. we, we think that we don't have any alternative. So anybody that shows up and then everybody rally behind, mm -hmm. you know, such a person, we just go and vote for such mm -hmm. a person. But when they are able to go through a certain mm -hmm. practical mm -hmm. level, mm -hmm. I mean, look at... Obama, when mm -hmm. Obama is speaking, mm -hmm. you will always identify yourself in whatever that he says. Mm -hmm. But our leaders, when they are speaking, mm -hmm. you, you, you can even doze off. <laughs> because you don't feel a sense of belongingness. Mm -hmm. You don't see mm -hmm. them doing certain things that you think that they are actually ready mm -hmm. to, to, to die for the country. So uh, most of the things that they are doing it's just they are just pretending so as if they are we, governing. How do we create the leaders that you're talking about, Mr. Asante? Yes, how do see, we create them? We put them there. In fact, I would say we created them we as created they are them. now. Because we make the leaders feel that it's a party which made them. And mm -hmm. they get enamored with the party. When the party big man says this is now it it was so at independence. And Kroma tried to overcome it. Mm -hmm. The party hierarchy is very strong in Ghana. We, how do we maintain the party? But, but, by the big men who pay money. Mm -hmm. How they get the money, we don't ask. Very often by <laughs> corrupt means. <laughs> and then we go and blame corruption. When it's by the very corrupt means that they maintain mm -hmm. the party. Mm -hmm. And the presidents, mm -hmm. very often, mm -hmm. have to be aware of the party big shots. Even Kwame Nkrumah felt it. Mm -hmm. He wanted one party stage to get around this. Mm -hmm. You see, when problems occur, because of what we learn from our ab broad mm -hmm. uh, political, this political economy, uh, 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 we learn by we don't think mm -hmm. uh, uh, to discuss or to, to consider mm -hmm. what happened. Kwame Nkrumah, I don't agree with the one party stage. Somehow, mm -hmm. I've been brought up not believing mm -hmm. it. But he wanted one party stage so that we all belong. Mm -hmm. So he could put people who are knowledgeable in all our competent in all our institutions. Mm -hmm. Because he told me he had so many projects institutions. Mm -hmm. He didn't have all the men with knowledge mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. in the appropriate places. He had to use CP people. Mm -hmm. uh, people. Mm -hmm. That was the uh, vogue of the times. Mm -hmm. And uh, he actually appointed non-CPP mm -hmm. uh, people to positions. Mm -hmm. And then the packet big weeks approached. Mm -hmm. And they said no. So he had to change it. Now, many people say he was a dictator. A lot mm -hmm. of nonsense is mm -hmm. put. Yes, he was a strong uh, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. But that, that was what happened. Mm -hmm. So now, our leadership is often mm -hmm. in the hands of the so-called uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 party. Mm -hmm. And that's why you, do, you never appoint a person like me as uh, president. You never <laughs> give me a second term. I'll chop the president, as we say, proper for four years. After that, you can take you your can president. Take your, okay, that is okay. what we are. And what is happening is that mm -hmm. the, uh, there's a tendency for our leaders mm -hmm. always to want a second term. And therefore, they turn backwards mm -hmm. and forwards. This is our problem. And our people, those in leadership position, mm -hmm. have no uh, vision. They have no will. They have lost self-confidence. Okay. Or, and uh, all uh, we want. I include. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be uh, life to continue as it is, yeah, so that yeah. we go. On. David, hold, hold your horses. Mm -hmm. uh, we're coming back very soon to Dr. Akwesio Say Stake, talking about governance in Ghana, why we can't get it right. We'll be back in a few minutes. <music> Welcome back to Dr. Akwesio Say Stake again, governance in Ghana, why we can't seem to get it right. Just before we broke away, we were delving into the most important issue about leadership and the role that leadership plays in why we can't get it right. David, you were about to make a point. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I, I think that the whole, you know, concept of governance is, is the central point of it is leadership. When you do not have good leaders, people who can think 
beyond every human level. What I would say, <laughs> helicopter factor thinking. Mm -hmm. Ability to think beyond what an average person could do. So Those a, a leader the, must have the ability to think. Yes, yes, ability to think beyond average human mm -hmm. level. Okay. So you, you know how helicopters, you know, flies. Mm -hmm. That speed mm -hmm. is always there. Mm -hmm. So as a leader, one of the key things is to make sure that you influence your people. You influence them to buy into your idea, mm -hmm. to buy into your decision. And so you, you realize that in, in this country, we are not getting the good leaders because, um, you see, it's, it's, it's such that people who have what it takes also at times sit back. Mm -hmm. They don't want to contest for any political position. And so when people who knows it best are also refusing, other people will just step in there and then they will tend to, to rule us because of your reluctance to, 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 to offer yourself. Other people will, will come and lead you. They will come and rule you. And so I think that leadership is, is very key mm -hmm. in everything that you do. And so a leader, you need to have a vision mm -hmm. and then that determination of purpose that this is what I want to do. And so by making sure that your governance culture, people actually you know, know that this is Mr. KB Asante, mm -hmm. this is his culture, mm -hmm. this is what he wants things to be done. And so they are learning. So when you are a leader and people actually buy into your vision, you always influence them and they will do what you are expected them to do. Yeah. But in practical sense in Ghana here, I must say that our leaders are not influencing. Influence. You don't identify yourself. You don't get that inspirational people telling you that, yes, mm -hmm. this is the way we are driving the country. Mm -hmm. And so we can all get there and clap for ourselves. You are not seeing people who can actually say that we are bringing in initiative, certain you know, changes, you know, making sure that they experiment certain things. Mm -hmm. You see, when you are a leader, mm -hmm. you always need to make sure that you have a certain good attribute, mm -hmm. certain qualities that mm -hmm. people could say that, yes, even in your absence, mm -hmm. they can say for sure that had it not been this man, mm -hmm. we wouldn't have gotten that to this That sounds like talking about leadership that is committed. Uh, with your experience... Let, let, let me cite mm -hmm. an example. For instance, just mm -hmm. recently, mm -hmm. looked at those incidents that, yes, you know, yeah, I mean, you mean you, uh, yeah. money Look, to Brazil. Uh, money to Brazil is <laughs> one key, but one one of mm. the significant one, which mm. my heart, I don't know where to put my heart, mm. is is the MPA National Petroleum uh, Authority. Authority office. Just an office, mm -hmm. sixty-three thousand US dollars okay. a month, mm -hmm. as if Ghana is sitting on billions of cities mm -hmm. that we don't know what to use all those money for. 63,000 US okay. dollars for a rented premises. While that person there mm -hmm. as a CEO mm -hmm. was a former deputy of finance mm -hmm. and a former parliamentarian. Mm -hmm. I'm talking of Moses Asaga, mm -hmm. my very good friend. Mm -hmm. Moses Asaga is somebody that I like so much, mm -hmm. even his voice. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice one. You, mm -hmm. can, you can see Moses Asaga mm -hmm. and feel that, yes, you are dealing with a practical person. But I was sad to, to, to have come to, you know, know that those are the people mm -hmm. taking decisions for this country, and they are not taking appropriate decisions. Uh, Moses Asaga, I think that he has opportunity. He can mm -hmm. talk to the president mm -hmm. every single every day, day more than mm -hmm. you're, you're, myself. Mm -hmm. So you could just manage, you could just give a text so, message so to the president. For, for you, there's no question that that incident of the government of Ghana quietly without the knowledge of many people paying sixty three thousand dollars a month to rent a building yes. is an example the of board bad of directors governance. the board of directors are we saying the board of directors do not report to anybody at mm -hmm. all Lack of don't leadership. they report to anybody at all the ceo although i was told that moses asaga wasn't mm -hmm. part of that decision mm -hmm. those people who rented the the, mm -hmm. the, the, the premises before he came, he came in as in. a ceo yeah. but as soon as, as you, you see those it. things you you, you quickly to, you know now. give a text message or mm -hmm. you put a memo right to the president that this is what i have observed 
And I will not sit here for those things to happen mm -hmm. because the country is suffering as we speak. And so why is it that we have to rent one place, mm -hmm. $63,000, and then this Brazil thing? And wh wh when you see <laughs> all those things, you said that. No. Look, Kwasi mm Nyantechi, -hmm. Kwasi mm -hmm. and all those people, when they came, wh what are they telling us? Mm -hmm. What they are telling us is simply as if we don't have we don't anybody have any, protecting the happened. interests of the country. Let, let me get the uh, the, the uh, sages uh, take oh. on, on, especially those two instances. I don't uh, and, and they're talking know about, about the lack of leadership. A sage, there. But le a leader, you see, mm -hmm. when we, uh, it's a good thing. He has, mm -hmm. uh, a friend has given me this example. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't. When we talk about leader, mm -hmm. very often we mean the president. Yes. Yes. The president has a role. Mm -hmm. He uh, should. Imbue us with ideas. He should show us that he had a vision. He has, uh, 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 and that we should follow him. But individually, people in key positions should do their job. If you are in charge of an organization, you have a role, and you have to rent a, a house for so much, you should be able to say no. Now, uh, if it was rented by a board of directors, they should all be made to wear sackcloth and go to blast us for every struggle. <laughs> no, it's stupid. Uh, you see, uh, and our rules show if you are a member mm -hmm. of uh, a, on, on board of directors, you are uh, mm -hmm. answerable to the, the is it the code, the company's code? Yes, that's right. Yeah. That's right. All the rules that's are right. there. You mm -hmm. uh, you have a responsibility. And if you don't so use that, it, that's an example of a situation where the laws and the rules and regulations are, are flouted. Are they, they are not, because they, they do away with murder and they get uh, uh, and they're still there. And therefore, we tend to, when you we tend to think that you go onto a board or uh, a board or institution just to get allowances or okay. to get a good car and make money. Mm -hmm. That's what is happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, the uh, so so you see, it goes a lot once. The system breaks down as it has. Mm -hmm. We are in difficult situation. That's right. And well, and, let, and, let, let me introduce. Not, not, not okay. to say, mm -hmm. not to say that in in all these things, mm -hmm. the, the the president must be blamed for it. Mm -hmm. I think just like uh, Dr. K. B. Asante said, when the when somebody appoints you, mm -hmm. Dr. Akwesi was saying, mm -hmm. to manage mm -hmm. this institution, mm -hmm. he has entrusted everything into to your you. hands. He has given you the honor and every respect that, in my absence, you can do what is good to serve humanity. And so that is exactly what the president has done. Mm -hmm. By giving all those people an appointment, it is an honor to serve the country. Mm -hmm. So if anything is going on within the institution, mm -hmm. you must quickly you know, report to the appointing authority, to the president. Or take just action whisper which is within your ears. power. Oh, right. just, do. just whisper into the ears mm -hmm. of the president. Mm -hmm. And I think that the president could have done something. Mm -hmm. But here we are, everybody was okay. sitting aloof. As if the whole thing, let me, uh, the president have to carry all the burden. Let me, and it let me be not provocative be so. and provide an answer. <laughs> Why it appears as if everybody is sitting there. Perhaps at the root of all this, both the uh, uh, rental uh, uh, of that office space and the situation uh, debacle in Brazil. At the root of both of them was, as you both know, how much money people are going to make out of those situations. Yes, so perhaps the key, rather than say corruption, which it is, perhaps the key there is we have this love of money and the effort and the and the the wherewithal to make as much money as we can, that we don't even care for rules, we don't care for regulations, we don't care for the fact that the objective of what I'm in public service for is to help our people. What about that? The love of money and the effort that most of these people seem to have, that you go in there to make money. Yes, but <laughs> no, excuse me. Let, it is let, not let's, that it is love of money. Mm -hmm. I think that it is the laws. The laws are not working. If the laws are working, all these people, by now, we should send them to where they belong to. Mm -hmm. By now, we should have started a certain process of making sure that those people But the reason why that is not helping mm -hmm are working is because somebody has paid somebody off. How do you explain the yes. concept of judgment no. debts? Why, Where did the judgment why debts... are we not questioning the people? And one lazy no. thing that no. I've been in this country... Do we know the people to question? 
That's look, a very good see, question. Look, when Do I, we know the people the I, question? I, 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 why not? Transparency. Why, why not? This, this three uh, million US dollars, mm -hmm. were those money not uh, uh, authorized by uh, Bank of Ghana people? So we the, should be able to question Bank of Ghana but who's, people. who stepped in to, the, to the, make sure that One of the lazy happened. thing that I've heard mm -hmm. is that, oh, this is the way we have been doing it no, since no, no. 2006, uh, 2010, uh, and 2000. Uh, and I that. tell I myself, uh, so why? I'll, I'll David is going to support you. Hundred yeah. percent. Look, there are rules about sending money. Yeah. If I want, I want to send my top open to England today. Mm -hmm. I have to conform to those rules made by the right. Bank of that's Ghana. Right. Mm -hmm. So that question is pertinent. It's a, a crucial question. You're not saying we, we broke the law, are you? Yeah. Yes. yes Bank of did. Ghana seems yes. to have broken. Yes. Her, they should <laughs> tell us that they didn't break their own rules. And if that continues, then mm. we are in a jungle. In the jungle. And then the president can say, do this. Look, I'm telling you, even in, when we were with Kwame Nkrumah, mm -hmm. when he gave directives, mm -hmm. which we thought mm -hmm. were uh, not uh, conversant with the rules, mm -hmm. we told him, naturally, politely, mm -hmm. yes, and so yes, on. Yes, yes. And he did not. Mm -hmm. He changed it. Mm -hmm. After the coup, mm -hmm. we used a tooth comb to go into all the acts of Kwame Nkrumah. Mm -hmm. Did we find him guilty of any no, crime? No, to this no. day, we haven't been mm -hmm. able to find anything. Yes, that, because that's mm -hmm. what happened. The officials will tell him mm -hmm. that this one, you are giving the order to Bank of Ghana, it's okay. And we tell the Bank of Ghana people, they themselves will even uh, tell you that it's so, I, I know I've known many of the Bank of Ghana governors, Ham, uh, Ad, uh, Adumako, who is mm -hmm. now say, mm -hmm. I used to mm -hmm. work with him. Chroma says, do this. I'll ring him. Mm -hmm. Then he tells you there's more money. We have to do this. Mm -hmm. And I know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. He uh, And therefore, the Bank of Ghana is bound by his own rules. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and they must case, have, uh, yeah. without their consent, you couldn't take that money out. So we should uh, yeah, uh, find question, out what happened. Question, Bank of Ghana. Uh, look, the, mm. the, one of the, I mean, I don't know, is, is, I don't want to use the, that, that, that word, but I, I think that one of the characteristics of a good leader mm -hmm. is to be able to challenge the status quo. Yes. So I hear those things that, oh, 2006, this That's is the way, way we did it. 2010, we did the same. So 2014, we have to do the same. Mm -hmm. So. You've seen that those things were bad. And so you want to say that you want to perpetuate all those things until that kingdom come. Mm -hmm. You will not learn anything. Mm -hmm. So what, what is the purpose of God creating our head? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, 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 why? Mm -hmm. So we need to actually learn something. Mm -hmm. And the president, I, I'm, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. the president, I, I think that we all need to sympathize with him now. Mm -hmm. Because all the people that he has appointed, mm -hmm. it look as if mm -hmm. they are not giving him mm -hmm. that common mm -hmm. respect. But why they are they not respecting him why back? Appoint them? Are they all necessary? As I said, mm -hmm. things have changed. Government mm -hmm. has uh, become more involved. Mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. When uh, in Nkoma's time, there were three, only three of us in the in, 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 in his office. Of course, we had an uh, old TK Prem with a big yes, uh, yes. room outside. And he also managed it well. But there were only three. And uh, deputy ministers were a later appointment. Even so, not all ministers ha had them. We have very few. And we were. There was a principal secretary and a minister. And all uh, affairs of state were channeled through them. Then they have institutions. Accountant general, electricity department, under uh, uh, the ministries. And they could work. Anything you want to do in Ghana, you can go through some of these issues and do them. Why do you have a thousand and one? If people say president needs advice, it's not advice mm. the president needs. Mm -hmm. It's people uh, who are knowledgeable to carry out what has been uh, decided. And now and again, naturally, the president should listen to what we are saying. Mm -hmm. All the nonsense I talk, for example, he should listen to them and so mm -hmm. on. But eventually, he has to make a decision sure. and show us the way. Yeah, I, I want to push this issue about the love of money because I have observed from afar, and if you don't mind me using your, your, your column from afar, voice from afar, I've been observing from afar. And if there's one thing I've, I've uh, noticed, it is that we have so many instances where there have been evidence of people not doing the right thing. Monies are appropriated, public monies are appropriated, and we don't see uh, any work done uh, for the monies that have already been paid. And we can go on and on with Suba and, and the song Taba Jida and, and all that. Jida yeah. and all that stuff, and they keep happening every day. Doc, is it not that 
the laws are not working, and so this is the, 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 the repercussion. Yeah, but if David, the laws, David, mm. if, if, remember mm. what uh, the vigilante, citizen vigilante said. Yes, Martin He was Amidu. attorney general. Yes. Martin Amidu. Yes. He was sitting in the seat, and when he got to that seat, he realized that there was a lot of, shall we say, uh, dirt in that area. Yes. And he decided, no, this cannot happen anymore. How come we don't have some of that, that type of leadership? That's why in leadership we say that a, a human being must have the capacity to exercise relatively mm -hmm. a high degree sense of imagination to actually be able to solve a problem wherever that you are appointed. So if you step into any organization mm -hmm. and you've identified that these are the limitations, these are I mean, the deficiencies within the organization, you need to make sure that you, you, you governize so that people help you to solve it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so this money issue that you were, you were talking of, it's, it's a good one mm -hmm. because I think that our systems are not working, our strategies are not working, so it makes it easier for everybody to steal mm -hmm. you know, from the coffers. Mm -hmm. Look, recently we've all been following this story. Zarkozy, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. former president of, of, of France, yes. he was questioned. In Ghana, can somebody, all the accusations, all the this thing, were thrown at former President Kofo. Mm -hmm. Oh, he was a corrupt person. Mm -hmm. He was, uh, how many people took uh, President Kofo to the cleaners mm -hmm. to take him to court? How many people have taken former President Rollins? Mm -hmm. Or how many people have taken um, even, even uh, former President Mills? Mm -hmm. And now... Uh, 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 President J, uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, John, John Dramani, Dramani Maham. He will also go scot free. Mm -hmm. Even if certain things are identified that he's culpable of doing the wrong thing, and then somebody takes him to court, mm -hmm. you will see all our lawyers, you will see all the prominent people in Ghana saying that, oh, this is all, uh, dark days, dark days has come to Ghana. So we don't want to follow to the rules close. of the game. We don't want to follow the governance processes by making sure that our laws actually bite. Mm -hmm. And so everybody will continue to milk from the state when the laws are not working. Mm -hmm. And so the laws must work mm -hmm. when the laws are working. Mm -hmm. And they know that our friends, all the media people, are doing the practical thing by exposing all those people. Mm -hmm. And then the media is also not found you know, being corrupt but by reporting the appropriate, mm -hmm. you know, a, a, a giving us appropriate messages and communications. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be able to feel that, yes, we are actually governing. But mm -hmm. here we are in mm -hmm. Ghana, mm -hmm. all our senior journalists, all our media practitioners, uh, uh, everybody, a politician can simply buy that person, you know, through the back door. And so he keep quiet. So let me ask this question again. What damage is being done to governance uh, in Ghana now? with all these stories that we hear about people appropriating government funds and public money for their own individual lives. What damage is it? Almost doing? irreparable damage. And in my view, you see, it's not only that the law is not being applied, we don't have with the people. And those who are capable of giving evidence of showing what went wrong, keep quiet. Or the whole thing is very bizarre so nobody can, uh, uh, no judge can get to the bottom. To give you an example, when in the bad old days, <laughs> you, are an uh, you are the accountant in the office or you keep money, the auditor comes at 4 o'clock to uh, check your, 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 your safe. He should uh, have uh, 100 CDs there and uh, according to the books, and it is uh, 99 CDs. Mm -hmm. He immediately questions you. Mm -hmm. Why should not be a uh, uh, ticket for one city? Mm -hmm. Oh, let you see. Uh, when I was paying uh, this, uh, the old man came, he said he mm -hmm. wanted someone to mm -hmm. give him one city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In those days, this is not taken. For. Mm -hmm. You are short and you are dead. If you don't take it, you get a sack mm -hmm. for misappropriation of funds. Mm -hmm. it, it, uh, the, the least that can happen to you is maybe you get the sack without mm -hmm. going to court and going to prison. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's mm -hmm. what happened. These days, look, all these things which happen. Mm -hmm. Judgment day. Have you been? I as I said, but maybe my brain is getting out of. I've never. I've not been able to pinpoint who did the wrong who thing. Did, there we go. You see, you go to a place. They say uh, 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 judgment day. He did something for the government. For who gave him the authority to do it? That's what we should question. Yeah. And the one did he have the uh, authority, authority or uh, the uh, we give him the contract? 
to someone and then the order comes from somewhere else and the contract is changed. Yes. Now, even then, if I were in charge, I would question my officer. Did you, when that happened, uh, uh, point out that we are, uh, uh, we, can, we have to pay two million CDs if we abrogate the contract? Yes. And quietly, you point that out to your boss, that this is a consequence. And if he says, in spite of that pay, you pay, you but you've done your duty. But if you didn't do that, and you are in custody of the uh, agreement, and he says, pay, uh, change the agreement and give it to this <laughs> and you do it. I <laughs> will discipline you in my time. The, uh, you. The, the voice of experience there. Ladies and gentlemen, governance in Ghana, why can't we get it right? We ended up with this voice of experience. We've looked at uh, the larger question of what gov uh, governance means. And we hope that we've been able to educate you to say that everybody has a role to play in this. Uh, those who serve in public uh, service, those who are in the private, and clearly everybody else uh, in the political system. Um, we'll, we'll be right back to Dr. Osei's take. As you just heard, that was the voice of experience, uh, Mr. Asante, who was one of our guests. And uh, the other guest was uh, Mr. David Agbe. Uh, and we hope that we've been able to educate uh, everybody about the importance of governance in Ghana, the role that we all have to play in it. The question remains, why can't we get it right? And we hope that we have provided a way uh, and some answers and that from here on people would, would uh, carry on some of the suggestions that we have. Thanks for being with us. This has been Dr. Akwesiose's take governance in Ghana, why we can't get it right.